Hi guys, welcome back if you're returning and if you're new, hi. Um, check out my other videos. If you like crafting as well, I am really, really loving doing the time lapses. I was dead happy with that last one. Well, that first one. You haven't seen the others yet, but dead chuffed. Anyway, this is part two of my Sheen haul. It has been made into a part two because it was so big that I had to split the video. So I look different from what you're about to see now because I'm filming the intro and the outro separately because I had to edit the video again and cut it into two. Uh, all the stuff mostly that I got from Sheen I, I loved. Uh, there's some pieces that you will see if you've not seen in the first half and the second half definitely going to be worn. I don't know where I'm going to wear them this year under the circumstances but damn it if I have to wear them to do the gardening I will do it. It will happen. The other thing is give me some love. You were doing so well slapping that button around. Go for it. Give it a good spanking. Well, it's a weekday after all. Who doesn't enjoy a good spanking? <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop. Um, subscribe if you'd like to subscribe. We would love to have you. Uh, I can't wait to try and get, you know, when we can all see each other again. I can't wait to introduce you to my business partner, Ruth. She's lovely. Uh, she's almost as crazy as I am. And we have a giggle. Uh, so one day you'll meet her. Hopefully sooner rather than later, if things go well. We won't hold our breath. So yeah, subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you want to be alerted to when I'm loitering around the corner, then please click onto the bell icon. It will give you a ding and at least give you a warning of when I'm in the vicinity. Might not help you, but it'll give you a warning anyway. Right, let's move on into the video. It's not too long, so I will speak to you at the end and give you any updates on anything that you need to know at the end. All the links are in the um, description bar below. Uh, for anybody who's new to me, I am usually a UK size, uh, 12 to 14, top and bottom, and I sometimes go into the 16s and sometimes into the 18s if I want to. So that's why I say it's it's a plus size and, and it's a straight size because I, I range all over. It just depends on what I want to wear. So I will see you at the end of the video. Okay, guys. So the next ones I'm trying on. Oh, do you remember I said... I've uh, like tweaked a nerve in my leg. That was my leg telling me off for standing like that. Um, so this one, I've changed the bottoms and the tops. So the bottom is the high-waisted tie-dye leggings. They were $9.99 without any discount. They're a size 12 to 14 large. They're 95% polyester and 5% spandex. And they are very high-waisted, but I am actually quite impressed with these and I'll show you why in a second. My next one, before I come off it, otherwise I'll lose my way on my list. Um, again, sorry, I'm looking that way. So this one is the graphic print short sleeve tee. I've got this in the black and the navy. So I'm wearing the black. It was £7.49. It's a large again, 12 to 14. It's 60% cotton, 35% polyester and 5% spandex, spandex. Now I know with this one, with the top, I'll tell you first. Where are we? Um, that it has a lot of options. So I picked the black with the light copper and there is, I've got a navy blue one with copper on. There is a, I think black with silver print on. There is a gray with black print on. There's a white with black print on. And um, just go and have a look. There's, there's some different varying prints. This what did I order this in? What did I say it was size wise? Anybody tell me? I don't know. Okay, so it's a large 12 to 14. On hindsight, I think I would probably have preferred to get an extra large. Um, my fellow would disagree with me on this one, but I, I like them longer. I like the t-shirt, by the way. It's, it's really soft. It's really stretchy. You know, you've got no problems there. Um, the neck's quite nice. The print, if I can show you, so the print is kind of like that rubbery sort of print, so it won't last forever, but you know, if you hand wash them and you're gentle with them, it'll last longer than most. I love the print. The eye looks like it's so fucking, uh, whatever. It's Monday. That's what that eye says to me. And it's a long Monday, but I like it. So I'm not, I love the print and I love the color, 
I'm not sure if I would keep these because I've got loads of t-shirts. Um, I mean, I have loads and loads of t-shirts. Um, and why as I do with your print on these ones, the length, just want it a little bit longer. But I don't want to tie this bad boy up. Okay, so you can definitely see the um, leggings. Um, yeah, I might keep one. I'll show you the navy one whilst I'm here because I'm not going to put it on. Um, because it's exactly the same fit. I've tried it, it's exactly the same fit. It's just a different colour. Um, sometimes, you know, when you try one on, it's a different fit from another. So I thought I'd try both of them on. But um, it's just a nice navy with the copper. I'm thinking I like the black better for me, personally. Yeah, yeah, I, I might keep the black one. Um, I don't need two of them, so I am probably going to send... Let's see it. I'm going to send the blue one back. <gasps> I've said it now, so I've got to do it. Which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to send the blue one back. But they're both really good. They're plain on the back. <sighs> And yeah, my leg, sorry, my leg is buggering up my whole system. So basically, because my I've done something to my leg on the right, um, I am more, I am weight bearing and putting more stress onto the left hand side of my body and back. And that is causing me to have twinges up my lower back, which is now causing me to have slight twinges in my neck. So if you see me sort of going over, I go to turn over the shoulder on my it's because that's also not going great now let's talk about something that is going great i am really impressed with these um i did not think a that they would fit me and b that they would be i thought they would be see-through i am wearing and i will show you high-waisted bridget jones style comfy cotton dark knickers so you should be able to see those through that here we go with the neck. Oh, okay, I'm giving it a little stretch. So I can't see it. Um, there might be a little tinge, but not enough to worry about. They are really nice. They are really soft. They are really stretchy. I, like I said, I'm uh, five foot two, five foot three approximately. These have got a bit of length in them, but you know, I roll mine up and do whatever anyway. Yeah. I'd say that's a win. I, I'm definitely gonna keep the leggings. And I will keep the top because it is a, it's a cool print, isn't it? Okay, for this next one, I have left the leggings on so far because I wasn't sure how long this was going to be. This is definitely more your summer vibes, unless you're a bit like me and you like your grunge and your goth and you tend to change it up and this will be used as a layering piece if I keep it, which I'm not sure I'm going to do. Here we go. Uh, it is the double v-neck fringe trim cover-up without bikini because it shows on the online she's wearing a bikini underneath it. It was £6.49 with no discount it comes as one size which always makes me go mm, mm, one size eh but because it's an overtop I'm guessing they would have done it big enough um, and this is 50% acrylic and 50% polyester so I'll see how far back I can go with this so it's kind of like a lot <laughs> I don't mind it actually um, if you're wearing it as a bikini type style, just bear with me a minute, I'll take the leggings off. I've got knickers on underneath. I don't like showing my legs, but this won't really show that much of my legs, so we should be fine. <laughs> I've just got to lean on the side. If anybody hears a, ow, and then a, a crash, that's me hitting the deck. <laughs> All right, make sure I've got these pulled down. Again, like I said, I'm wearing sort of raspberry coloured Bridget Jones knickers so you'll be able to see where I'm talking about. See what I said about those leggings? Like they look like they would be see-through but they don't show they don't show up. Kind of strange but really really like them. So let's go back again. Yeah so now if I pull my knickers down you can see where the stomach bit is. <laughs> That's what I wanted you to see. There's several sections it comes up pretty high but it is a really good cover-up for if you're wearing a bikini i will give it that it's a really good cover-up for if you're wearing a bikini if you're wearing it as a dress you would probably want to either wear a slip underneath it um or just pull your tights just wear tights thick tights underneath if you like thicker tights and pull them up past this point and you'll be fine but there we go jingling the jewelry again that's basically it's like a hanky like we said double b um, with the trim 
uh, the detail goes all the way around. So you've got a V, a V and the V at the bottom. It's really, really pretty actually. Me personally, I was thinking of getting it for something to layer on top of things, you know, like sticky plaster type that on it. Be a bit sort of tribal looking. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? I've actually figured out how to put my comments on as well. So you can get all, you know, heated and happy and irate or whatever you want to do in the comments box below. So let me know what you think about this. The only thing is um, the price label, uh, not the price label, but the label is about here. I cut them out. So if you ever go onto my vintage, you'll see there's some videos for vintage. I sell stuff on. Um, I like to upcycle and stuff like that. So I always cut the labels out when it comes to this sort of style. There's nothing wrong with the, but A, it's noisy. B, it's white on black. It's just plain annoying and it creates a bump. You see what I mean? I have, I have enough to deal with, with my own bumps. I don't need to create more of them. So yeah, if, if you ever buy anything off Vinted from me and the labels are cut out, that's why I just don't like labels. I don't like feeling them scratch on me. I don't, they annoy me. So I don't know about this one. I don't know this one. Okay guys, so I've changed bottoms and I've changed top again. This is this very similar. It's the same print as the top I've just shown you with the lettuce trim and the long sleeves. It's a crop again. It doesn't have lettuce leaf, uh, lettuce leaf. It doesn't have lettuce uh, trim sleeves. It's got the white double, like the overlocking over the top with no raw edges. This is like the softest mesh ever. It's really nice. Uh, I'm pretty much sure I'm going to keep that one for the summer. There's not a lot else to say about it. It's nice, it's stretchy, it's mesh, it's see-through. The labels will be coming out if I'm keeping them. It's nice on the neck, it feels really nice on the skin. It's a good one for summer. Um, the next one are these joggers. And I love the look of these. And the fit's not bad either. I've got to be fair, I'm not dead into my joggers. The material was a bit of a shock. The material was a bit of a shock. They do have functioning pockets in the sides. They don't have any pockets on the back. The drawstring is functioning. You can tie and loosen it by there. Just the fabric is, is a different one. I'll show you. Bear with me while I just take you down there and hopefully not drop you. It's kind of sheeny. It's a sheeny fabric. It's I think it's one of those ones. Let's see, yeah. If I push my knuckle through, the further it stretches, the whiter it gets. So it's like white on the inside, there's no lining. But, oh, and they've got, oh, no, there she goes again. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, they've got a little cuff on the leg. So they're, they're really nice, actually. I'm gonna keep these. Definitely gonna keep these. I didn't expect the fabric, um, and I wouldn't wear them as a jogger, like, to actually jog in. Uh, I feel like these could be noisy and sweaty all at the same time. Um, so I won't use these as a jogger to jog in, but they are a good one for having on through the summer, lounging around. So I'll just give you the details for these. So let's do the joggers first. They are the graphic print drawstring waist joggers. They're £13.49. These are a size 12 to 14 large. They are 95% polyester and 5% spandex. So there, there is stretch in there, you know what I mean? There is stretch in there, it's good. I've got a big, a big bump. Um, it doesn't look big from there, it's like I've got a bit of belly, um, but all round, like it's big. And then <laughs> there's the hips and the legs to get in. Sounded tanny, didn't it? <laughs> Sounded worse than it was. Um, yeah, there's the legs to get in as well. So there's a bit of room in there and they are very comfortable. I do like them. I'm just going to switch over, the top is a, I, it's 10 out of 10 for the top. If you like the style, this is really comfy, it's like a second skin. So, see what you think. Uh, did I give you the details for the top? I probably didn't. So what are we on, 10? Uh, where are we? Oh, there we go. So the top is the graphic print mesh tank top. It is a size 12 to 14 large. It's 3.99 guys are slowly going down there then hang on let me just position you right before you fall off there we go nearly lost you then you're for a day trip 
Looks like you might be going for a day trip again. Don't you hate it when that happens? You're in the middle of doing something and then suddenly your bits and bobs, that sounds awful, your bits and bobs decide that they're not gonna, not gonna play ball. So I've pushed it back so the lighting might be a little bit less on, which might actually be better for me. <laughs> so let's go back to what we were talking. So it was 3 99 so it's an absolute bargain. And it is 95% polyester and 5% spandex. So I would definitely pick this one up. If you, if you like the pattern, I would definitely pick this one up. And I'd pick up the joggers as well. It's a win-win outfit. Okay, so I sort of semi may have fibbed in the last one. I, I saw something on the bed and I thought I'd finish trying on what I put down for these joggers. Um, and I saw this item of clothing on the bed and I thought, oh, I'll try that on with it. So I, was, I thought it'd be a bit weird combination. That one's coming up next. So the one that I was saying, oh, you should comment on is the one next. If you want to comment on this, you can. I, oh, well, I love the feel of it. So we've got the same joggers on. Um, I love the feel of this t-shirt. Ooh, it's it's soft, but it's kind of like, it's not dead thick, but it's kind of very, very soft and weighty. It's the same sort of rubbery type print, so it won't last forever. You've got uh, butterflies and constellations. Sleeves are big. I'm guessing I got this oversized. Um, I don't think this is going to be dead flattering on this, but there's that bit, but yeah. Oh, there's plenty of Tyree in there. Plenty. Yeah, really like the colour. Um, let me see. So we are on to the Butterfly and Constellations print oversized tee. It's in grey. I think it does come in other colours. Uh, prob yeah. It says here, white, pink and teal are the other colours it comes in. Um, this is, again, a large 12 to 14. It is 60% polyester, 35% cotton and 5% spandex. It's lovely. I love this one. It's got the length as well, have you noticed? I'll show you. It's got the length. So the other ones were coming up to about here, which is nothing wrong with that, you know. But this one's... So I didn't oversize on this one. I thought this might be an extra large, you know, like a 16 or maybe a two extra large, but it's not. It's very stretchy. Ooh, I like that one. I like that one. Okay, so I've left the joggy bottoms on and <laughs> done this little cardi. There is going to be a bit of gaping here. It's because I've changed bras on this one. Um, and I'm sort of in between sizes, so I was hoping to go down. I don't know whether this actually suits me at all. I'm not usually gonna get cardigans like this with the frilly. It's frilly, but it feels really nice. A lot of gaping there. So the buttons are functioning. It's like a crop cardi. Oh, okay. You've got boob. Yeah, so you could wear it like that. Um, it's a crop cardi. I probably would wear it open if I was, you know, like I would just want it for layering. It's really stretchy. It is a little sheer. It's got patterns on it really pretty patterns all over the place it's got the frill to the bottom of it black buttons so let's give you the description on this one uh this is the ruffle trim button up cardigan that's exactly what it says on the tin it's 7.99 it's a large again 12 to 14 this is 100 percent acrylic it feels really nice you know actually feels really for acrylic it's you know it feels really nice. Yeah, I'd probably wear that with a decent bra, not this one, a decent bra, just as it is now, um, through the day. Maybe not with the joggers, I still they've got like a purpley hue, the joggers have. Maybe not, not, not the winning outfit. Okay guys, this next one, I love. Different, I would pick a similar bralette, but one that is more supportive, so it's probably, I've got ones that are like a full cross here probably use one of these. I love this top. I am in Victorian style lace heaven right now. I am loving it, loving it. It's got a little um, eyelet lace. I'm trying to show you. God, I only saw that so far. Let's use my very, very, very white belly here. Um, eyelet lace there to the bottom of it. It's, oh, it's got a finished. It's finished to the 
edge of the arms there so that's really nice I just I just really like this kind of pattern up to the neck it just looks so nice there is a little um button up here so you've just got one little button goes over the head it's really 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 pretty I love it the skirt I will give you the details on the top because this is part of this order the skirt again probably not bothering with those knickers but I don't care um the skirt again is from Sheen it was bought in a previous one I don't have the details written down for you but there is a link in the but box below to let you know so the only two skirts that I have are these two black skirts so this one's the PU style leather one it's awesome it is awesome I am going to drop you down to show you because it well judging on my camera and what it was doing earlier I'm hoping you're not going to drop down completely but it's kind of okay if you face plant guys you've got a bit of a way to drop as well wish me luck wish you luck you're the ones that are going to face plant um, so it's about yeah, about mid leg, mid calf there. Um, it has, I don't know whether you can see it totally with the lighting, but there's like a seam here that goes over in a seam. Did I go over that? Yeah. There's a seam that starts here and goes across. There's a seam that then joins from here. There's a seam down there. There's a seam here and here down. It's like a flare. This continues around the skirt, so you get kind of like a hanky end. The seam goes down there. The seam comes up here. You've got the line seams. And then it does the fold in the back again, and so it's the way I can describe it best. It's like having two tulip leaves on either side of your hips. The points here, like a hanky bear. It's really, really pretty. It's it's obviously like fake leather. It has this kind of material. There's no lining per se in it, but it's got this kind of felty material, and um, but it's very soft on the inside. It's not thick at all. It's not weighty, which I really, really like. Um, it's, it is a little shiny, but I don't mind that on this one. It doesn't look dead bad shiny. It looks like a proper, like, leather sort of shine. Um, it's not garbage bag shine. I'll give it that. Um, I say garbage bag. I'm English, not American. A bin bag. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> it's, it's because I'm mostly YouTubers. I watch for American or Canadian or whatever. So I, I'm like a minor bird. I pick up accents. Terrible. And mannerisms. So... The skirt is lovely. If you're into these sorts of skirts, oh, they, I think they do this in brown as well, the skirt. Oh, here you go. Here you go. You're off again. Why'd you have to leave? Why'd you have to leave me, eh? Hmm? Is it something I said? It was, wasn't it? Gabbing on too long. Are you still going? You're rocking, but are you rolling? So I haven't got any details on the skirt, but I am... I have found the link and it is in the description box below. However, I do have details for this absolutely stunning, beautiful, amazing, gorgeous, totally 100% keeping top. If you're in any, any doubt whatsoever. So this one is, that's not it. There it is. The mock neck sheer lace overlay top. It's £2.49. £2.49. Um, I think it says here that you can get it in black or white. So whether that's still available, I don't know. It's 12 to 14 and it's a size large. It's 100% nylon. Um, yeah, that's my dad in the background. I think he's dying. Usually a daughter would rush to her father's aid, but I'm filming, so I'll have to wait. Okay, guys, so we're getting close to the end now. I've left the same skirt on as last time. And then this is a ribbed tank top. It's in that tie-dye that I tried earlier, you know, with the reversed seams on it. I love this colour. Like grey and browns. More brown on the back, but it's really nice. It's basic. It's a sort of... Yeah, it's a tank top. It's not a racer back. It's ribbed, so it's got stretch. This one is a little on the short side. Um, but I'm not actually showing anything, so I probably would get away with that. Probably would wear that, because it works. So the details on that one is, uh, this is the rib knit tie dye tank top, as it says on the tin. It's five pounds forty nine. This is a twelve to fourteen large. It's ninety six percent cotton and four percent elastic. Sorry, spandex. Four percent spandex, ninety six percent cotton. Blah, blah, blah. Definitely need a coffee and some breakfast by the sounds of what's happening in my stomach. So. Our last one 
Now, I am going to give you some details here. I have not been able to find it yet. I do know that I purchased it. I do know that it is in here somewhere, but I'm not going to be able to add it as part of this section of the video if I don't find it. So I will, there's one other item. If I can't find it in time for this video, I will tell you what the item is. It's still linked into the bottom. I did find a link for it and I'll tell you what the fit was like. Um, but at the moment, I, I can't find the damn thing. I don't know where it's gone. It was the last thing I, you know, tried before. It, last night, I tried a couple of the items on um, that look like they may be dodgy, like the, the camp, um, you know, the, the nighty type thing. Um, and then I tried this piece on because it's it's a romper. It's like an all-in-one. And I was sitting there thinking, and it's short. So I was like, if this isn't going to fit, it's going to, I'm going to have to show my legs as well. And I'm not keen on that idea. So let's just check out what it looks like. So I'll tell you what that is if I don't find it. Yes, we're getting the static in now. Um, so, this is, I'm loving it. <laughs> I know it's really basic. Um, it's kind of a weird crop as well. It's sort of just before your hips, but I don't mind that. And I actually don't mind it with this outfit. I, I think I want it a bit shorter. Maybe, but you could tuck it in if you wanted to. I don't know what that would look like. I didn't tell you, if I didn't tell you with the skirt, it has a side zip and a hook and eye on that corner, which is really nice. You could tuck it in if you wanted to. Um, I love the colour. It is sort of like, it's got shoulder pads in the corner here and there's a small amount of stitching detail here as well. So it's a little bit built up. They haven't, however, sewn the back of that lining in, which isn't a big problem. Either I could tack stitch that back or I just leave it and it'll do whatever it's doing. But I like the shape and I do like the colour. And it's a real basic, so it's nice. So that's a very much a win. Mm, it's it's on tie actually with the black lace. No, no, the black lace I like more. But this one will probably get more wear because I'll probably splash everybody. I'd wear this for work. If I wore that one for work, I'd probably be getting a lot of comments. Uh, let's have a look. So I did have this in eyeline a minute ago. Uh, ah, there we go. Shoulder pad, solid tank top. This is seven forty nine, uh, without any discounts. It's again a large twelve to fourteen. So I've mostly ordered that size. It's eighty percent polyester and twenty percent cotton. It's really comfy. It's really nice, and it's this sort of dark charcoal grey. I'd say it's a dark charcoal grey. This one is. Um. So, yeah. That's a keeper. Hi guys, so you made it to the end of the video. Well done. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sure there's something in there that you've, you know, it, there was some nice pieces. I, I enjoyed it, that one. And I love showing those skirts off to you. If you haven't seen, by the way, um, the skirt that I showed you in this one is linked below. If you haven't seen part one, go and check it out. There's a nice skirt in there as well. I don't know, because these are from previous hauls, the skirts were from Sheen, but they were from ages ago before I started doing the videos. I have put the links in. I do not know whether they're still available, but they might be able to link you through to something that's similar. I know they are really nice skirts. So if you want to go and check those out, go check part one out as well. Because uh, it's got some gems. What else was I going to tell you? Oh, did you get in touch with that um, like button? Hmm? Give you a bit of, bit of sass. Again, I will remind you. If you are feeling a little frustrated, if you're having a bad day, if things are getting on top of you, to the like button. <laughs> Slap it about. <laughs> I get very, I haven't had enough coffee for that. Um, the other thing was, is that I mentioned a romper style unitard. It's a weird name that. Unitard that went missing. I couldn't find it. Well, I found it. I'm not going to try it on because I haven't got time to do it um, at this particular moment, but I am going to show it to you and the description will be in the bar below. This is the grey unitard that I was on about. And it's a really nice, it's not got adjustable straps, it's just as it is. It's nice and thick, you're not seeing through that. Um, it's quite a firm but stretchy fabric. It's like, it's springy square kind of thing it's like um the only downside 
the shorts there. The only downside is it's a little short in the torso. I don't have a long torso, it's a little short in the torso. For what I wanted to use it for, this is a potential problem. I wanted to use it to negate the chub rub. So the shorts aren't quite long enough, so I pull them down and then the top comes down. Now, if you're just after a unitard and you're not interested about chub rub or anything like that, don't worry about this. It covers your butt, it covers your necessaries, you're okay, it's a good one. If you have a long torso, maybe think of sizing up, check the measurements. That's all I'd say. If you've got a long torso and you know sometimes you run into problems, check the measurements, see if you need to size up in this. But other than that, really nice. I do like it. I was going to keep it anyway, and I'm definitely going to find use for it. If you see it featured in another, I've got a Boohoo haul coming up as well. So maybe I'll wear this under something that I'm trying on or and I'll mention it then. But other than that, the description is in the bottom. Thank you so much for coming and checking out my video. I hope it was amusing to you. Again, like I said, check out part one if you liked part two and vice versa. Um, there's basically all everything that you need will be in the box below. I'm also going to link in uh, my own personal business with my business partner Ruth. We do handmade crafts. So we are only based in the UK. We can't send outside of the UK at this point. We're just tiny. But who knows? Who knows what the future may hold? If you have a look at the time lapse videos, which I am very, very proud of. I think I've only got my first one up yet, but it, I'm so happy about it. Um, we make things like handmade bookmarks, we recycle where we can, we do resin jewellery, we do handcrafted wire jewellery, we've got handcrafted cards, we do all sorts. So please go and have a nosy if you're shopping in the UK and you want something individual, because when I say we can't make them the same twice, we literally can't. We just can't. So you will get a very individual gift and they are very reasonably priced, if I do say so myself. So head over there, give us some love. We're on Facebook and Instagram under Ruth and Ali Makes as well. 